Catherine Fior, EU reporter. Uh, I have uh, really um, two questions for you. I mean, Hungary joined the EU and it signed up to the rule of law and democracy and all these values. Um, this report, which has already been supported by a simple majority in committee, suggests that this, with clearly given examples, is uh, not a country that respects the checks and balances that are needed in a democracy, in the judiciary, in the media, and civil society, and um, it's certainly not an icon. Secondly, I mean, you said this is a sovereign issue, but over 50% of Hungary's public investment uh, comes from the European Union. Don't you have a responsibility towards your taxpayers? This is a country that has had to uh, give back over one billion in financial corrections. Uh, there's an estimated direct social loss of 10 billion euros. Uh, there have been 57 anti-fraud uh, cases started against Hungary. Hardly an icon and not, uh, not, not uh, w without the correct rule of law in place, how can you protect and ensure that that money is not wasted? Thank you. Well, I simply wave away the bunch of lies that you're just repeating. It's really a, a, a big bunch of nonsense uh, to state that um, uh, Hungary would not be democratic or would not be listening to the voice of uh, the Hungarian people. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can uh, state all these things and I just uh, don't buy into the uh, 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 mainstream media, which are so uh, correctly called by Mr. Trump, fake news. There is all kind of fake news about Hungary. And uh, uh, I, I completely reject that. I find, find that repulsive. The, the press should take the, their, their uh, role seriously, instead of being the, the hand puppets of these uh, uh, um, uh, politicians who are now for decades governing uh, um, uh, the member states and the EU. When I was young, the press would criticize their governments instead of uh, uh, walking on their hand and uh, uh, having these documents on how they should formulate all their uh, 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 articles. And that are things that are just blown open in the Netherlands. I don't know about how about it is in your country, but this type of manipulation by the European Commis Commission is uh, uh, being uh, uh, blown open in the Netherlands. And that is why I find your questions uh, uh, basically, well, something uh, uh, that I would like to respond on in the way that I do. Um, so, yeah, you can ask. Sorry, can you answer the question? Do you have a responsibility to European taxpayers to make sure that their money is not squandered yes, on personal projects? Yes, and I would like to make, make very clear that in this parliament, the tax money that is paid by patriotic voters is, is spent on socialist projects. And that is what I'm absolutely against. So yes, I raised my voice in this way because that is what my voter wants. Thank you. We, we simply reject the, the Article 7 procedure as a principle. Huh? Um, all these so-called values interpreted by M Madame Sargentini and this tiny minor minority, in my view, um, is exactly pointing out that, and your reasonment and your so-called question is the same, uh, you, uh, confirms it, uh, it's money for political correctness. And we reject this. Uh, the political correctness, as interp interpreted by Madame Sargentini, is not a criteria. And the values that you mention are not values that are precisely defined. And if you want to respect them, Madame Sargentini should respect them by not involving in, um, uh, in, in, in precise uh, uh, competences of the member states, clearly like education, like uh, uh, social affairs, you, the, inter the interference of the European Union with member state competences is unacceptable. And if these are the criteria and the arguments of Madame Sargentini, we have the right to reject it, even if you say that money means uh, uh, being flat on the ground like Mr. Tsipras showed here uh, this morning. Sorry, I'm going to have to come back to my first question, and that is, this is well documented 
corrections, over 1 billion euros handed back for corruption or for failings in the audits. And um, the country-specific recommendation says that there is, no there is inadequate prosecution of high-level corruption cases, um, and it remains an exception. Do you not have a responsibility towards European taxpayers? In many uh, uh, countries, uh, uh, um, country-specific recommendations, that is not a criteria to launch uh, Article 7. Huh? It's, let us be clear, uh, Hungary clearly stated that it will respect the jurisprudence of the European Court of Justice. They did so for many cases, and of course their, the combat in Eastern Europe against corruption will go on, even in Hungary. That was never the criteria. Uh, the criteria to chase Hungary was the political criteria to chase a member state that doesn't play the game as they want it to be played here. Uh, and that's why we defend uh, Hungary, not because of any corruption. So don't try to frame us as guys that defend corruption. That is clearly not honest if, if that is the uh, aim of your question. Exactly, because we reject the corruption. We reject corruption in any member state. Uh, there has, has for years and years and years never been a positive conclusion of uh, the uh, institution in the, uh, in the European Union that uh, checks the expenditures of, um, uh, of member states uh, of EU money. There has never been a positive uh, uh, report on that. So it is a big problem in the EU. It is. But the hypocrisy to uh, uh, attack Hungary uh, on this, whereas there are dozens of member states who are corrupt, which we reject, which you also find stand. repulsive, Clearly is stand. this, this uh, hypocrisy and invoking an Article 7, my goodness, I really find that uh, uh, so anti-democratic.